Welcome, and thank you for attending this training session for Learning Express Library, especially for South Carolina State Library. My name is Shana Ashwood Biala, and I am a Senior Training Specialist with EBSCO, specializing in Learning Express products. And I'm happy to provide today's product demonstration. I've placed my contact information on the screen, so if you have any questions after today, please feel free to reach out to me. I can best be reached via email at sashwood at ebsco.com. So for today's agenda, we're going to talk about the updated Learning Express Library platform. Uh, we've got about 45 minutes today. In the first 15 minutes, I'll provide an overview, reviewing the updates to the user interface, and talking about navigation. And then I'm going to demonstrate our key resources, demonstrating our test, tutorial, and ebook functionality. And then I'll wrap it up by discussing where you can access our promotional materials and support. By the end of this session, you'll be comfortable navigating Learning Express Library, registering and logging in, taking practice tests and tutorials, downloading new books, and accessing the My Center repository where everything you save is stored as a user. You'll also be comfortable accessing our promotional resources. So I'm going to exit out of this screen right into the live site, so if you can bear with me while the screen adjusts. I'm going to start on the Discus website just to show you where you can access Learning Express. So we're here at scdiscus.org. And on this page, if you navigate to the A to Z listing, clicking that, and if you click L for Learning Express Library, you'll see the link to our resource right here. Now, of course, you'll need to authenticate as a Discus member. And once you do, you'll be brought to the landing page for Learning Express. So this is the new and improved interface. And you'll see that we have made a number of uh, improvements to that user interface with a cleaner, sleeker look, uh, more white space, smaller images. One of the most, uh, the, the uh, biggest features, or the biggest changes you'll see on this website is the removal of the carousel. So we used to have a carousel in the center of the screen that you would need to navigate to to get to all of these centers uh, where all of our content is housed. So we've replaced that carousel with full access to all center content. Uh, that's one major improvement. You'll also see that your branding, the Discus logo, is now located in the upper left corner of the screen for better recognition for the consortium. You'll also see the name of the consortium listed right to the right of that. We've also consolidated our sign-in and registration link. There is only one link now located in this blue horizontal navigation bar, so you'll click there to either sign in as a, as a new user. And we've consolidated all of our help resources under the help link. <clears throat> there you'll find frequently asked questions, registration information, system requirements, and our video guide. So if you have any patrons you want to introduce this platform to, you can have them access the video guides here, and they can access a 19-minute video that walks through the features and functionality of this platform and how to navigate it, and then we break that video up into one to three minute segments on specific topics. So a nice place to access all help resources. And then, of course, there's a contact us link where you can always contact our support department. So another major feature is we've moved the um, search box to the center of the page to make it more prominent. So now you'll see this search box where it uh, prompts users to enter a keyword to find tests <clears throat> excuse me, tutorials or ebooks. That used to be located over to the right. Now it's prominently located. So lots of uh, improvements to the interface. We'll hope that you're happy with the look and feel. Um, and before I get into more changes, I'd like to kind of talk to you about what Learning Express Library is uh, for those of you who are new to the platform um, and, have, and have not seen this, this interface. I'll describe Learning Express Library as the interactive online platform that provides the most comprehensive selection of career and academic resources for basic skills mastery, academic success, job preparation, and career advancement. Now, all of our content, uh, including our tests, 
ebooks and tutorials are organ organized by subject in these eight centers. By center names, you'll see uh, that the content is organized by subject. So um, you can access any of the resources, any of the resources behind each of these centers by clicking one of them. And this also highlights another change to the interface. So we have not left the home page. And if we scan through the eight centers, we can click each. And if we were to click the first one, which is career preparation, you'll see that the categories of content for the career preparation center are displayed right on the landing page without having to leave the landing page. And that's the same for the other seven centers. You can click each center to get an idea of the kinds of, of uh, content you'll find within each center. So let me quickly describe the Career Preparation Center. Here you'll find the Instantly Scored Licensing Certification and Aptitude Practice Tests, Career Preparation, and Vital Information for a Wide Variety of Occupations. So here you can learn more about a career with our career-related e-books, prepare for an entrance exam for allied health or nursing school, prepare for a, a wide variety of occupation exams, access Military practice tests, if you have anyone who's looking to join the military, we have the ASFAB behind that link. We also have a section dedicated to job search and workplace skills improvement and preparation for the WORKEYS and TOEIC exams. Let me move on to the next center. The next center is the High School Equivalency Center. This is a very popular center for those looking to obtain their, their high school equivalency credentials. And this center has the resources needed to prepare for those credentials. We offer instantly scored uh, practice tests for the GED, the GED in Spanish, the high set or the task. Uh, we also have a section here at the top called Are You Ready, which I like to consider the pre-high school equivalency test section. So if you're familiar with high school equivalency, you know that it's a difficult test to pass, especially if you have not completed all four years of high school or coursework. Uh, so we have this section called Are You Ready, which helps patrons identify if they have the skills ready to sit for a high school equivalency exam with practice for uh, a test that we model after the TABE. The TABE is an acronym for the Test for Adult Basic Education. So we have these TABE skills check tests available here to identify if you're ready for uh, high school equivalency exam. And based on the test in the Are You Ready section, you can build your basic skills to improve those skills that you're deficient in. And then once you've built your basic skills, then you can prepare for either the GED, the high set, or the task, depending on the state that you're in. Uh, each state has a different um, test that it accepts. And if you click any of these sections, any of the categories in high school equivalency, you'll come to this landing page. Right below the, the image high school, uh, for high school equivalency, you'll see this about this center. And if you click this link, it talks to you about the center and pro provides some information on how you can approach preparing for the high school equivalency. But we also offer this, this handy map that identifies by state what test is accepted in each state. So we can see here that in South Carolina, uh, the GED and the task are both accepted. And then below that map, you can see the three steps to preparing for high school equivalency credentials uh, with the Are You Ready test, the Build Your Basic Skills section, and then moving on to the GED or task, in this case, for South Carolina. So that's the High School Equivalency Center. Let me click the Home link right here in the upper left corner to go back to the landing page, and I'll move on to the next center. The next center is College Admissions Test Preparation. And this I like to call the College Bound Student Center. Here you'll find the College Admissions Test Preparation resources, including practice for the ACT, the SAT, the PSAT, the Advanced Placement Exams, as well as the TOEFL IBT. And we also have a section with help writing college admissions essays. So a wonderful collection of resources for the college-bound student. I'll be sampling a resource here later. This is also a very popular center for obvious reasons. Moving right along, we have the school center. Now the school center has the resources to help elementary, middle, and high school students prepare for important high stakes exams, 
get extra help with uh, assignments and content, and it allows them to boost their skills in important subjects covering reading, writing, math, and science. Now, this center is um, aligned to the Common Core for the states that are Common Core, and I believe that South Carolina is one of them. Um, if we click here, we can navigate through uh, to see uh, information about Common Core standards right on the home page. So if you're interested in learning how this center is aligned to the Common Core, you can just click this first link right above the resources for elementary, middle, and high school. Okay, so let me go back to the home page and move down to the second row of center. Next, we have the College Student Center. So while we have this college-bound center for college admissions test preparation, we do have a center dedicated to college students. And this center helps college students strengthen the fundamental academic skills needed for success in college with college-level math skills review, reading, grammar, and writing, as well as science skills review. We also have preparation for graduate school admissions exams. So if you have any students who are looking to move on to graduate school, they can practice for the GRE, the GMAT, the LSAT, the MCAT, and the MAT, as well as the PCAT test. So lots of preparation for those looking to pursue graduate degrees. We also have a section here called Prepare for College Placement Exams with Practice for the AccuPlacer and Asset Tests. So every college freshman is required to take a placement exam to see if they need developmental courses. So practicing for these college placement exams helps them exit out or pass out of the, the need for developmental courses. So they can practice for the AccuPlacer and the Asset there. And we also have a section dedicated to CLEP exams. So if you have any students who want to earn college credit, they can prepare for CLEP exams here as well. The next center is Adult Core Skills. And this center is geared toward busy adults who want to improve their basic skills in math, reading, writing, speaking, and grammar. We also have a section here called Become a U.S. Citizen with some timely resources. And I'll just click that section here. Um, on the landing page for adult core skills. And as we move to the Become a U.S. Citizen section, you can prepare for the U.S. Citizenship exam. We offer practice tests. We've taken 100 civics questions out of the naturalization exam to give those citizenship candidates practice. We also have a number of additional resources, supportive resources in the form of e-books and articles, uh, some topics like getting your green card. And we also offer these resources in Spanish as well. So this is the Adult Core Skills Center. You'll also find supportive resources for adults looking to obtain high school equivalency credentials with resources for building math, reading, writing, speaking, and grammar. Okay, so let's move back up to the home page. And I'm going to skip over the Computer Skills Center for now. I want to address the last center here, Recurso Spar Hispano Hablantes. And this center is very similar, I think like 95% equal to the Adult Course Skills Center. It's just delivered in full Spanish. So if you don't read in Spanish, just refer to the Adult Course Skills Center. The resources are pretty much the same. Uh, so this is a great resource for those Spanish reading patrons uh, with resources to improve math, reading, writing, speaking, and grammar, uh, as well as preparation for the GED exam in Spanish and U.S. citizenship information. So the last center is the Computer Skills Center, and this is a wonderful resource because it offers video computer courses to help patrons learn the basics of uh, their computer, the Internet, uh, for those beginners, it talks about Internet safety and using social media. It also talks to you about uh, the basics of navigating your computer. Um, but more popular is our popular software tools section, and this offers a nice suite of Microsoft Office resources. So if you want to improve your skills in, for instance, Microsoft Word or Excel, you can view a video here to learn uh, how to be better at those, those resources. 
We also have a section for computer graphics and illustration and understanding your operating system. I'll be sampling one of these resources a little later as well. So that rounds out our selection of resources on Learning Express Library. What I'd like to um, talk to you about is registration at this point. So if you are a new user or a returning user, you of course would click the Sign In Register link here in the top navigation and we'll do that. It's going to bring you to a sign in page where if you are a returning user, you'll enter your username and password and click the login link and there's also a forgot password link here. Uh, if you are a new user, you'll click the register link and that's going to bring you to a page which provides fields for you to complete to register and create an account as a user on Learning Express Library. So the first field will tell you the name of your institution. You want to make sure that that says South Carolina State Library or it says the name of your individual library or institution within the DISCUS organization. Next, you'll complete the fields marked with the asterisk. So you'll provide your first name, um, an email address. The email address will become your username and you'll create a password. Now, when you're done, you'll click the register link. Now, if you don't want to create a username using a valid email address, we do have an alternate registration, and I'll highlight this section here. Uh, so here it says, uh, I'd rather not register with my email. If you click that link, it will change this registration page. So let me go ahead and click this link, and you'll see here that instead of requiring uh, an email address for a username, you can create any username of your choosing between three and ten characters with no spaces. <clears throat> You'll also create a password. And instead of providing an email address, which by the way would only be used for password reset, you would instead select one of our security questions and provide a secret answer and then click the register link. So that's alternate registration, uh, especially useful for those patrons under the age of 14, it's a COPA compliant feature, which is the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. So let me click the field for returning users, and that brings me back to the sign-in page. And I'm going to enter a demonstration account that I have, and I'll click register, I'm sorry, login once I'm done. and then I'll click back home to arrive at the landing page. So that's registration. So now what I'd like to do is show you some of our resource types. <clears throat> I'll start with accessing a test, and I will access a test from the College Missions Test Preparation Center. Uh, we see here that we have options for uh, ACT, SAT, PSAT. I'll click the SAT section. That's going to bring me to the landing page for College Admissions Test Preparation with the SAT section exposed. And we can see that we segment our resources by tutorial, practice tests, and ebooks. And you'll see a number of subsections here. So for tutorials, we have for the SAT tutorials for every section on the SAT, including reading, writing and language, um, math. I actually didn't mean to click that. I was trying to highlight it, so let me just go back there and scroll back down, and the optional essay. We also segment our practice tests by those same subjects, reading, writing, and language, math, and the optional essay. But we have another section here, the complete simulated practice test section. You'll find this for the SAT as well as the ACT and the PSAT. This is a wonderful resource because it provides four complete simulated exams modeled after the official SAT in terms of content, timing, length, and scoring. So we have four complete practice tests for SAT preparation. This is a wonderful resource that you want to make sure your uh, parents, students, guidance counselors, college counselors know uh, that's available at your local library, that your students can come to your library or on discus.org website and practice for the SAT, the ACT, and the advanced play, and the uh, PSAT with four complete simulated practice tests. A wonderful complement to the offerings here. Let me go back to the 
page for SAT prep, and I'm going to sample a test here from the SAT math section. So I'll go ahead and click SAT math, and with each section, with each uh, subject, you'll find four practice tests. So we're now just going to test exclusively for SAT math. We see here that um, on this resource page, there are four SAT math practice tests, and we're currently browsing the resources. Okay, so I'm going to click Start Test right below the first one. That's going to bring me to this test instructions page where I'll review the instructions about how to take this test. And then I'll look over here to the right and we'll see two orange pill-shaped sections. The first one tells me how many questions are contained in this exam. The second one tells me how much time I have to complete the exam. And then below that, I can choose my test mode. So with Learning Express, we offer up to three different test modes depending on the type of learner the user is. In the simulation mode, that timer is enforced, so the user has to complete the test in the time allotted. In the practice mode, there is a timer, but it's not enforced, so it really helps users pace themselves in preparation for real timed tests. And in the learner mode, there is no timer. <coughs> Excuse me. The user can actually see the answers to each question as they move through the exam in this learner mode, and that's really more of a self-paced study mode. The default mode is practice, so if you don't choose one, practice is chosen for you, and then you click Start Test to begin. Now the test will load, so we're looking at this SAT math practice test number one. We can see options to move to the previous and next pages on the left. We see the timers ticking down. In this particular case, we have section timers and a total test time. We have the score my test button, so when we're done taking the exam, we hit the score my test button to get a score report. And then we have the save and finish later button. So if we run out of time, let's say we don't have a full hour and 20 minutes to take this exam, let's say we only have 20 minutes in the computer lab, we can click save and finish later and that will freeze the timer as well as save your work in progress. Now I did not mention that this site is fully responsively designed. It's accessible remotely as well as in library and on any of your mobile devices. So it functions properly on your tablets and your phones. Uh, so this Save and Finish Later feature is a great resource to have. Uh, it allows your patrons to access these resources on the go. <clears throat> so let me just quickly answer a few questions here. And I want to get to the score report. So I'm just going to answer uh, two questions. And then I'll pretend that I've completed this exam. Uh, let me answer one more just to be safe so I can get hopefully at least one right. We'll click score my test. We'll pretend that I've completed this exam. It does give me a warning. I'll proceed and score. And then instantly I'm brought to a score report. So <clears throat> on the score report page, a lot of important features. Of course, in the orange section, you see your score. I earned 210 points. This is a scaled test, so it explains how the scoring is calculated. And a lot of detail here, <coughs> excuse me, to the right. But more importantly, below that, you'll see this topic breakdown. We break the test down by the main topics and subtopics covered on the SAT map. And we can see here our performance. So we see that we were tested on the heart of algebra with topics like solving linear equations in one variable, passport to advanced math with some subtopics like rewriting simple rational expressions. And we can see the number of questions asked for each topic and subtopic as well as our performance, how many we answered correctly and incorrectly, skipped, and our score. So this is really powerful for self-paced test preparation because it informs the user what what areas they're strongest and weakest in, and helps direct their studies to the areas that they need the most improvement so they can improve their overall score. So this is really powerful having this topic breakdown. Another important feature, if we scroll back up to the score uh, in the orange box, right below the score you'll see this View Answers button. If we click that, it's going to show you at a glance our performance, and I lucked out today. I actually answered two correctly and one incorrectly. Now, you don't want to stop here because if you notice, these are actual hyperlinks back into the exam. And if you click one of these hyperlinks, 
it takes you back into the exam, but the exam has been scored and annotated for you. So if we can look at question number one, we see I answered that correctly. It gives me a green check. But it also provides a detailed answer explanation. So let's say I guessed, which I did. I can review the answer explanation here to find out how I arrived at that correct answer. It also tells me the topic I was tested on as well as the subtopic for this question. Let me scroll down to the question that I answered incorrectly, which was number three. So it shows you here that I chose choice B. It tells me I'm incorrect. Choice D is the correct answer. And once again, the answer explanation is provided, as well as the topic and subtopic. So this is also very helpful for self-paced test preparation, coming back into the exam and reviewing the answer explanations for further understanding. So let's go back to the score report. I do have one more important feature of this score report. So we covered the score, the scoring explanation, the view answers button, the topic breakdown. And right below that topic breakdown, you'll get a recommendations section. So the site is going to recommend additional resources that are related to the test that you just took. So because I took an SAT test, I see other SAT resources that I can access right in this recommendations section by clicking the launch button under the title. So this is a nice segue into demonstrating tutorials. Since I took an SAT math exam, I do have access here to an SAT math test tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and click that tutorial. And it's going to launch the tutorial right here. And I'll review the information about this tutorial. There's a uh, little description here, and I can start the tutorial with the Start Tutorial button at the bottom. Or I can come up to the left side of my screen and review the units for this tutorial. tutorial. So these are resources that support learning. So we have practice tests, and then we have supportive content to aid in better understanding for the subject that we're studying. So here for SAT Math, we have the outline for this tutorial, and you'll notice that most of our tutorials are equipped with a pretest for diagnostic assessment, and then all of the content for SAT math are contained, is contained in the units. Uh, we also have a post test. So the idea is you start with a pretest, you take that test, you score it, you see what your strengths and weaknesses are, and then you work through the units, and at the end, hopefully, your post test score is better than your pretest score, which shows improvement. Now, if you move through any of these units, let's say you know that you need help on uh, problem solving and data analysis, you can jump right into Unit 3. That will expose the lessons within Unit 3. And for Unit 3, we have four lessons. And let's say we know that we need help on summarizing data numerically, we can click Lesson 3 and open up the lesson to display the uh, topics covered within Lesson 3. And let's say I know that I really need help comparing data sets. I can jump right into that topic, and it's going to advance me to that page within the tutorial. So here we are on the Comparing Data Sets page, and I will review the information and the examples provided. And then it also provides an opportunity for me to practice what I learned and check my answers right within the tutorial. So a great supplement to any uh, studying you're doing in preparation for SAT math, a great way to uh, touch on key concepts, uh, reinforce the understanding, as well as practicing what you have learned within these tutorials. These are very lengthy tutorials. They can be over 200 pages long. So this is something that your patrons will want to come back to uh, time and time again. So let me exit out of the tutorial by clicking the Save and Finish Later button. And I'll go ahead and save that resource. And uh, this brings me actually to the My Center page, which stores all of my work in progress. So I did save this tutorial. It's bringing me to this page that shows me that I have one tutorial in progress, that SAT Math Test Tutorial. If I click the plus sign to the left of it, it provides some details regarding that tutorial. And we can see here the date and time of last access, which is just now. And then my progress it shows me that I only am 1% complete. I've only viewed one out of 167 pages. 
and then I have options here to resume the tutorial or view the score report for any of the pre-test or post-test. So that is the My Center link to tutorials. If I wanted to access that test that I took earlier, I can come to the Select drop-down menu and select the test section. And now I'm viewing that test that I did complete, the SAT Math Practice Test Number 1. And once I get, again, I get the details for this exam, we see the date and time uh, when the test was scored, the status and my score. I have options to view the score report, to review those detailed answer explanations, or to delete this exam. And then I can access any of the recommended resources prescribed to me on that score report. And that's the My Center. So if you were on the home page, and I'm going to go ahead and click back home, and you wanted to get to My Center, you would come to your user, uh, the name that you created at login, not your username, but your actual name. And I entered South Carolina as my name for this demonstration. So I'm coming under South Carolina, and I can click the My Center link to return to those saved resources. Okay, so next I want to move on to uh, eBooks. And instead of navigating to an eBook within any of these centers, I'm going to use the search tool so I can show you the functionality there. Uh, but just so you know, we do have over 200 eBooks accessible on this platform, and they're all organized in their respective centers. But why don't we use the keyword search box to find a resource? Let's say I'm interested in accessing eBooks that pertain to writing. So I typed writing in this keyword search box, and you'll notice that the autofill will populate any title on our platform with the name writing in the title. But to execute the full search, we'll click the search icon, and that's going to bring me to a search results page. Uh, now, we will provide results based on the keyword found in either the title or the description of the resource. So on the search results page, you'll see here that we do have um, hit counts. So you'll see that there are 99 tests that pertain to writing, 25 ebooks, and five tutorials. There are no computer courses or articles, so those are depressed. So we can see here uh, opportunities to move through all of our page results, and all of those resources are provided below. Now I started out by saying I was only interested in ebooks. So what I can do is filter my search results by deselecting the tests and the tutorials, and then I'm only viewing the 25 ebooks. And I can click the download ebook link under any resource that I'm interested in. So let's click the uh, download ebook for pre-GED language arts writing, for example. And I'll go ahead and open this ebook. Now our ebooks are very simple PDF files. All you need is Adobe Acrobat and then it will download to your desktop. And we're now viewing the pre-GD language arts uh, writing ebook published by Learning Express. So I'm just scrolling through the book here. Uh, these are all digital rights restriction free. There are no DRM restrictions here. They're simple PDF files, so you're just scrolling through 240 pages of this ebook. This ebook is complete with uh, practice tests and content. So this is a wonderful resource, a wonderful complement to the platform. Uh, it comes with unlimited access, unlimited saving, downloading, printing, whatever you want, you can do with this as a patron. Uh, so once again, over 200 ebooks accessible on our platform. And libraries love this option because as resources are checked out or are in disrepair, in your library, you can always send your patrons to our site to download an ebook. Okay, so let's go back to the home page. There's one more uh, resource type that I wanted to sample, that I promised to sample, and that is from the Computer Skills Center. So let me scroll down to the second row of information here, and I'll click Computer Skills. And I'll go right to the Popular Software Tools subsection. And opening up that subsection, you can see all of the Microsoft Office resources, including Access, Excel, OneDrive, Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, Visio, SharePoint, and Project. And we have different versions of each. So depending on the version that you actually own, let's say you own Microsoft Excel 2016, for instance, you can click Excel 2016. And it's going to bring you to a page here uh, that shows you the resources for Excel 2016. And you'll notice that, for the most part, we provide uh, different versions 
So if you are a 2016 Excel basic user, you can select this course. If you are an intermediate user, we have another course. And, if, and for advanced users or someone who is ready for the advanced course, we even have that. And you'll see the course times available. The first basic course is a four hour and 26 minute course. The intermediate course is three hours and 52 minutes. And the advanced course is a six hour course. So these are not resources you'll want to sit and complete in one sitting. This is something you'll come back to again as well. Uh, let me click one of them. I'll just click the basic one. I'll click the Start Tutorial button. And that's going to bring you to the page where the video plays. Now these are all HTML5 videos. And I'll quickly click this uh, to play just for a moment so you can hear the video. Hello, and welcome to the Microsoft Excel 2016 basic course. My name is Sherry Tingle, and I'll be your instructor. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer, a Microsoft partner, and I'm also certified at the highest levels in Excel 2016. I was actually one of the first people to pass the Microsoft Excel 2016 certification test. Okay, so I've just muted her. You see the options to control the video here. Uh, you also see the transcript running as she speaks. So for the hearing impaired, we do have the transcript running. We have the opportunity to download the transcript and print the transcript. And above the video, you can actually view the table of contents. You don't have to view this full video in one sitting. You can open up the table of contents and jump around. So you can see here under the table of contents, we have six chapters. Um, and you can open up any chapter. Let's say you really want to learn how to format an Excel worksheet. You can jump over here to this fourth row and expose the mini videos contained within formatting an Excel worksheet, and you can jump right in. So if you want to learn how to wrap text, you can click the Play button right on the wrap text, that wrapping text section, and it will automatically play. When formatting your Excel data, sometimes the text doesn't wrap the way you would like. Let's look at an example of how you can use a button called Wrap Text to change this information. Where you okay, so that's pretty much the video. Um, it does take a while to go through all of this. Uh, it is very detailed. Uh, it's a wonderful complement to your product offerings on Learning Express Library. It's great for anyone who wants to um, improve their competency in these software resources. These are very thorough. As you heard, Sherry Tingle is a Microsoft certified trainer, uh, certified at the highest levels of Microsoft Excel in this case. Um, at the end, once you view the entire video, there will be a little pop-up that, allow, pop that allows you to print a certificate of completion. It doesn't mean that you are Microsoft certified, but it does provide edification for you completing this, um, this, this video. But this is something that once you go through it, and of course you would need the software in order to practice what you learn as uh, Sherry Tingle teaches. But once you've gone through this whole video, this is something that you can definitely add to your resume showing that you have some core competencies um, in Excel if you're taking the beginner or the intermediate or the advanced uh, videos. So let me exit out of this video to return to the landing page. Uh, one last thing I wanted to talk to you about is the Career, Pre Career Preparation Center, because that's also a very popular center. I won't actually access the resource, but I just wanted to open up this, this center a little bit to you. Uh, so if we click Career Preparation, wonderful options here, but I'm going to click on the Prepare for an Occupation Exam just to show you the wealth of occupational licensing resources we have available in Career Preparation. So if we come here to Prepare for an Occupation Exam, we have license exams for a wide variety of occupations. Under the Allied Health section, if you have someone interested in becoming a dental assistant, we have preparation for the dental assisting certification exam, physician's assistant, surgical technologist, for instance. Uh, under law enforcement, we have preparation for court officers, police officers, uh, state troopers. We have the postal workers exam, uh, the CDL exam for commercial driver's license, uh, the journeyman's electrician's practice exam, uh, teaching several tests like the PowerPro Praxis, Praxis II, the CBA, um, real estate salesperson, broker, and appraisal exams. 
And even the nursing section, we have preparation for the NCLEX RN, the nursing assistant, and nursing aide certification, and NCLEX PN. Let's say you are interested in nursing, and you can click the, uh, any of these. I'll click Prepare for the Nursing NCLEX RN. It will bring you to the resource page that shows you the resources we have for NCLEX practice. Uh, it contains three tests and e-books for NCLEX, uh, and you can see those resources here. So we're browsing resources for the NCLEX, but you'll also see, in addition to browsing resources, and this is for any of our resource pages, you'll be on the Browse Resources page by default where you can view those ebooks and tests for NCLEX RN in this case. But there's also this Learn More Guidance tab that will provide some information about this particular um, profession. Uh, we have actually updated our guidance. We have beefed it up and made it more topic specific. We used to have guidance at a higher level, which kind of talked about guidance for the entire center. Now our guidance talks about the specific topic you're viewing. So under Prepare for NCLEX RN, there's some guidance on nursing. So if we were to click that guidance tab, it's going to take us to a page that talks about the nursing profession with uh, some nurses' duties. It provides a list, a brief list of some nurses' duties in this on-the-job section. In the What It Takes section, it tells you what it takes to become a nurse in terms of age, education, and licensure. It also tells you how much you can make as a nurse in the bottom line section with the median annual wage for registered nurse, nurses in the U.S. with the range depending on experience and location. And in the Outlook section, it shows you that the field is projected to grow by 16% through the year 2024, which is faster than average for, for most careers. This information was all pulled from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the ONET database, and we've provided this information in a nice, concise way to support uh, your uh, learning on uh, this particular perfection, profession. Now below that we also provide a list of resources that pertain to nursing, listing the test tutorials and ebooks available on our platform, in this case for nursing school or for the NCLEX RN and, and PN. So that's guidance. And you'll find out uh, for all of our topics there, you'll find guidance uh, at varying levels depending on the topic you're viewing. Okay, so that pretty much sums up Learning Express Library for South Carolina State Library. The last uh, few things I want to talk to you about, I did cover help in the Contact Us link. I do want to talk to you about promotional materials. Uh, promotional materials are available if you scroll down to the bottom of any page on the site in the gray footer, you'll see this link called Administrators and Librarians. And that used to be called Librarian Resources. We've updated it to be more inclusive. Uh, so we now call it Administrators and Librarians. So if you click that link, that will take you to a page where you can access our promotional tools. It will show you a link to Help Guides, which is going to redirect you to our support site on help.epsco.com's website. Before I do that, I'll quickly show you the other resources here. We also have a Quick Start Guide. That is a printable resource that you can make available at your reference desk and hand out to patrons. It quickly shows them how to uh, access the site and register. Uh, we also have access to our MARC records. So if you employ MARC records for your catalog, we do have MARC records download instructions that you'll want to review before you attempt to download our MARC records. But we do have MARC records for all of our tests, tutorials, ebooks, articles available. But let's go back up to this Help Guide section. I'll click, click Help Guides, and as I said, it's going to redirect you to our page on help.ebsco.com. That's EBSCO's support site, and it's going to take you to this page where you see the Learning Express page, and Learning Express Library is the first box that you'll review. Uh, we have tons of information here. Once again, information on downloading MARC records, uh, some frequently asked questions, and then we have this promotion kit, the last link here before you click the See All link. But we'll click the promotion kit. That will take you to a page where you can access staff training. You can also access our Quick Start Users Guide, uh, as well as a lot, number of promotional materials. We have posters, flyers, and access to our web graphics and resources. So wonderful resources here, all available on EBSCO support site. Uh, accessible on the Learning Express Library uh, website. Uh, once again, if you are on the home page or any page of the site, just scroll to the bottom, 
click Administrators and Librarians, and then click the Help Guide. That will take you directly to the promotional page for Learning Express. Now, if you are familiar with EBSCO support site, it's a very easy site to remember. It's uh, help.ebsco.com, and you can access all of your promotional resources, training, and support resources here for all of your EBSCO subscribed database resources. So from here, you can click Promote your resources and access, post, access posters, flyers, and web graphics for Learning Express and other resources like Explora or EBSCO Host. Uh, you can also access training resources. You can sign up for a live session anytime here. These are public sessions that are offered daily. We also have access to recordings for you to view on demand. And if you need help, you can always contact support by clicking the contact support link. That will bring you to the help page where you enter your information and your comment or question and click submit. Uh, our support staff is available. 24 hours a day, Monday through Sunday. Uh, and we also have access to the 800 numbers if you want to get in touch with them live in the U.S. and Canada, as well as internationally. So that's support. Um, so that pretty much sums it up. Let me um, quickly pull up this PowerPoint again, uh, and I will share with you the, the um, URL to remember. If you're not on uh, the Learning Express Library site, just go to help.epsco.com, click Promote Your Resources or Training or Support. Okay, so that concludes this guided tour of the Learning Express Library. I hope that I've successfully conveyed how empowering Learning Express can be for you and your patrons. We have worked really hard to provide this updated interface, and we are happy to present you with an easier-to-use interface for your patrons. Uh, we hope that this is used well in South Carolina as we know that it has resources to help improve your community's academic and workforce skills. So if you have any questions after today, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll place my contact information on the screen again. I am Shana Ashwood Diala, best reached at sashwood at epsco.com. Uh, thank you so much for your time and attention. As you exit this session, you'll be presented with a quick evaluation. If you've got a minute to complete it, I greatly appreciate it. As part of a global training team, I always value your feedback. So thank you once again for attending and for subscribing to Learning Express. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.